Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Art with Me hashtag Ritha. My name is Ritha, and today we will be making a watercolor DIY card. It's super easy and takes no time to make. So with that, let's get started. So another uh, noticed, uh, I'm gonna be posting the printable for today's video on my website so you can just cut out the material or i could say the watercolor flowers which i have already done by taking a printout of the printable i will be putting on my website so you can sp uh, skip half of the process so yes i'm gonna start by taking an a4 size sheet um, this is a watercolor paper and then i'm gonna make it into half and yes uh just painting a squash of um a little peach color in between then i'm gonna um, put a little darker pink on the sides to give it a little good and for the dark uh, layers on the sides i'm just using some dark pink and red so this is up to your choice um the colors you want to use um i really like pink so i'm using pink over here and yes um you can do uh i'm gonna take um a half of a half paper size sheet of paper the lengths are given um and then i'm gonna fold it into some lines like that um like to, I don't know how to explain it, but you know, um, um, we used to make like fans before, like long ago they used to make fans, or maybe even now. So just using the same method, I'm gonna do this, and simply using, you know, no me specific measurements for that, and sticking it. Now, it's up to you if you wanna add extra steps, I will show that um, later in the video well if you guys don't want to do that you can just directly start by sticking if you guys want to add extra steps just skip a little part of the video so you can see how i did that okay so i have applied the glue now and i'm just gonna hold it a bit to let it dry um so i'm gonna be using these paper clips um it's your wish you can either keep it under a hard surface um i actually got this cute little thing so i thought it would be really good and uh, anyways um now it's dried and you can see it i didn't really uh, completely dry the glue because after this i'm going to show you how i add extra steps if you wish to um now okay so um yes now you can see if you want to add extra steps you could cut a little bit of that and pinch out the, uh, you know, extra ste uh, steps um, so that it gets a bit, um, you know, you get a really good 3D effect. Well, after that's done, I stick it back and add my flowers and many leaves as well. Now, this is up to you um, what position you want to you add your flowers and leaves, how many you want to add them. Um, it's just up to you well I'm just using a thick watercolor paper for the whole project today um, I prefer you guys to use a thick watercolor paper too and I also added some flowers on the, on the top of the page um, cover page so it looks more good now this step is completely optional it's your it's your choice you want to do it or not well i'm doing it i'm just gonna punch a little hole and with a hole puncher and using a jewel thread i'm gonna tie a bow and with that we come to an end and my card looks so good and nice let's see who the lucky person is to get this card and uh, so yes i hope your card came out to look really well as well and um yes don't forget to subscribe like and click on the notification bell icon so i get notified every single time i post a new video also don't forget to comment down below if you have any suggestions and if you guys wish to you guys could actually click a picture of your work and send it on my website so i could show it on my next video so with that we come to an end i hope you all like my video bye